This was a study which was really like someday may come to haunt you majorly. And in this study, what they did, it was another one of those brain imaging study ones. And what they did was they took people in two categories. In both cases, these are people who had found their beloved. Their beloved, the person who was their soulmate, the person in whose arms they were going to die someday, the person. And they divided it between these two groups. One was a group where they had known the person in whose arms they're going to die for like two and a half weeks. And the other is when they had been together for more than five years. So you, pick, you put somebody in the brain scanner and you start flashing up at speeds, subliminal speeds of pictures of individuals they know, important control in the study. And embedded in there is a picture of their beloved. And suddenly, somewhere along the way, up flashes the picture of their beloved, be in a short-term relationship, and the dopamine system goes crazy and activates like mad. Now you come back five years later into that same relationship with the beloved and you do the exact same thing and you flash up their picture and the dopamine system doesn't activate. What activates instead was that anterior cingulate thing we heard about on Friday having to do with empathy and comfort and all of that. In other words, what we see here is the neurochemical transition from one's beloved from causing like your blood to run scalding hot to your beloved being like a comfortable old armchair. This is one depressing study.